Hey guys, this is Substitute Topher. Today you joined me in Ohio much earlier than my normal operating hours, but for good reason. Today we're with the 2023 Lexus IS 500. And while I will not be bringing you a full review on this car today, I will be driving it to the Mid-Ohio Sports Car Course to do the Lexus Performance Driving School. I got an email the other morning from Lexus saying, hey, do you wanna come down to Mid-Ohio and do some track driving and some LC 500s? And I said, of course I do. So uh, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go down, we're gonna do some lead follow, some braking techniques, some line techniques, some autocross, and uh, some hot laps at the end. And we're gonna bring you guys along for the ride. But before we do that, let's hop in this IS500 and get a 6.55 a.m. cold start. Cool. All right, well, I'm gonna let this thing warm up for a second. And the Topher and I will hopefully be bringing you guys a full review on this car later this week. And I'll have some road trip impressions over on my personal channel, Topher Drives. But uh, I'm just gonna head to the track and uh, we'll get you guys some track driving impressions once the lessons start. All right, guys, we're out here at Mid-Ohio. We've spent the morning doing some theory and instruction and now we're finally getting a chance to get out onto the autocross course. So I'm gonna be here in this red IS500, out of one IS500 and into another, and uh, we're gonna do some practice laps this morning to get ourselves warmed up. We're gonna to run today in Sport S Plus, and I'm gonna try leaving, uh, leaving us just in D and see how this transmission does on its own. I have a feeling that towards the end of the day, we're gonna do a few more runs later. I have a feeling I'm gonna to wanna to lock this car into either first or second gear because this is a very small autocross course. People have been completing it in about 24, 25 seconds. So not really sure we're even gonna be getting out of first gear. So we'll see how it goes. Some basics on the IS500 five liter naturally aspirated V8, 472 horsepower, 395 pound feet of torque. That is sent through an eight speed automatic to the rear wheels and a limited slip differential. Now I've been driving this car on the street. Uh, Lexus sent me down here with one uh, that you guys saw earlier. And I've been thinking to myself, I don't know that this is really anything more than a street car. So I'm excited to get it out in an element like this and just see how it performs. Cause I don't know, <laughs> this isn't a full F. It is an F sport, but we do still have that V8. So I'm excited to see how this thing handles out here on a very tight course. So for my first run, I'm just gonna check the course out. I have not seen this yet. So we'll go nice and slow, visualize it. And then the next two, we'll go for it. Yeah, kind of as I was expecting here, even in Sport Plus, kind of a lazy tune here on this transmission. We've got a little bit of a chicane through here. I'm gonna use maybe some, oh no, I've activated the voice command. Hi. 23 four there cool so I just had a quick question are you lifting quite a bit going into the first little kink over there or uh maybe maybe <laughs> so I think that's probably gonna be the big time gain is just like and you can that you can double check with Terrence CP saw but it looked okay. like we were kind of giving a big lift and getting sure. back on if we're able to just kind of ease off a little bit but keep the throttle and you can sure. carry a ton more speed in the first okay corner. good awesome to know job, great dude. I'll be lined back on up cool thank you Okay, so we cut off like six seconds there from our first lap, but first one was a sighting lap. I think I'm honestly cool just leaving this thing in drive and letting it do, letting it, do its own thing. Giving me too much stability control. 
control there. I wish I could disable that. Haha! -ha! 22 7. <laughs> Thank you. Shaved off a little more. Thank you. I am so sorry. I missed that last half because I was talking to him for quite a bit, but the first corner looked great though. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, I, I tried to lift off less and kind of just ease through it ease like through you said. It. Did it yeah. feel okay? Or it did. Like, yeah. Dude, awesome job. That's a really good time. Cool. Really, really good time. Thank I'll you. Pull back up behind the blue car. Okay. Or, uh, whatever car was in front of me. Silver car. Uh, yeah, yep. Over here. Yeah. All right, cool. That's going to wrap up our first module here. We're going to be doing some skid pad. We're going to do some lead follow on the track some line and braking exercises, and then uh, we're gonna wrap up the day with the autocross competition. So we'll see how I fare, um, and then possibly some hot laps at the end of the day with racing driver Scott Pruitt. So pretty exciting stuff. All right, guys, we're here in the Lexus RCF, about to hit the skid pad. This is Leah, she'll be instructing us, and we're basically just doing some controlled donuts. Haven't spent a ton of time in the RCF, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot, see how we do to channel my inner, the Topher, and uh, try and get some sideways action like this blue car over here. Well, maybe not quite that dramatic, but we're gonna give it a shot. Hi. Hello. What's up? You excited? I am. You done this before? Nope. Nope, awesome. So let's see, my glasses are polarized, okay? I got manual one. Yep. And as you can see, and you can hear, right, over the radio, that it's a little harder than it looks. Just keep in mind, I want you kind of more to the middle. I don't want you out close to where Curtis is standing over there. I don't sure. want you to go too wide, right? Okay. So remember, this is a hill though. So if you carry speed down there, it's gonna push. It's gonna right. understeer. The front end is gonna push out. Okay. So kind of anticipate that by staying closer in, maybe on the downhill. Usually, I, I like to set it by just going to that corner putting the back tires on that wet stuff, but I'm already pointed this way. The car is positioned like this, and my tires are pointed to, to the uphill, and then I just kick it out with the with the throttle. Okay. You should be able to feel the tires spinning. Yeah. <laughs> the moment you feel them spinning, right, you just come off and then very quickly counter steer, because counter otherwise steer. what happens is, is if you only turn from here and then turn to straight, that's not really an oversteer correction. You basically, did a little bit of you know counter steer but this is counter steer if the sure. back end is going going here then you got to steer into that okay. to catch it okay okay so practice with it we got a few minutes would you say windows up or windows down windows up, windows up. Yeah. okay <laughs> cool otherwise, otherwise you'll spray yourself <laughs> all right come on down there try to get yourself in position at first and i would just kind of turn and then now i would hit the gas so you can kind of feel off the gas to get a more grip on the front. There you go. And you're a champion already. Look at this. Right out of the box. Woo! <laughs> so that's the drift. <laughs> that's perfect in a small area. Um, can you show me a good oversteer correction? Just a couple of times and then we'll go back to drifting. <laughs> Wait for it. Back to straight. And I would always straighten the wheel out, not use the gas to straighten it out. Yeah, do it again. Do a couple more for me. I want to see it. Down here, down here. Yeah. Oh, I hit second gear. That was awesome. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm enjoying it. Hey, can you do it the other way? That's what a stunt driver would do. Right now, look.
<laughs> Thank A you. Plus, A plus plus. <laughs> Thank you. Really not. You, I thought you said you'd you'd never done that before. I may have lied a little bit. Okay. Don't lie. <laughs> I grew up I grew up driving in the snow, so oh, I'm. Oh good. No, I, I teach yeah. in the snow. So okay, that's cool. Really awesome. Yeah, yeah, I've never really done like wet pavement like yes. this, so that part wasn't a lie. But like in the yeah. snow, you know, car control and whatnot. Yep, yep. So. No, that's beautiful. Yeah. Thank cool. you so much. Thank you, Lexus RCF on the skid pad. It wasn't too much time out there, but we got a little bit of sideways action, so that was a good time. So now we've got one more session of autocross. We're gonna do some more lead follow, but so far, so good. And uh, yeah, having a good time. Oh, yeah. Queuing up now for session two of autocross. I'm in another IS 500. This one's gray on red. Someone left their water in here. That's okay. Uh, previous best time was a 22.7, so we're gonna try and shave off uh, maybe a couple tenths off of that. Maybe aim for like a 22.5, so we'll see how we do. <laughs> Clean? Now, uh, just like she said, I think you got a 21 hiding in there. Okay. okay. Um, what would you improve on? I'm going to say this corner here and okay. the second to last corner. Okay. When you're rolling in the throttle, you're, you're asking for more than the car thinks the car will handle. So you, I'm sure you can feel the traction system kind of dialing it out. Yep. You're asking for more than it can handle. Smoother. Roll into it and the car will give it to you. Okay. You have to you have to ask it in a way the car says, okay, I can handle a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, because by the time you're then into the back that big power, your wheel's straight and it gives it to you. Off you go. Okay, thank you. Cool, so shaved off three tenths already, 22.4. I guess they think I can shave off another 0.5, but. We shall see. I've been starting a little further over. Maybe like kind of close to that cone there. Because then you get the run up for the first corner. Thank you. You're welcome. I took your advice. See what I mean? Yep. Yeah, you're good. So you see what I mean though, is, is the more relaxed you ask for throttle, the car says okay. Cool guys, well we ended up improving all the way up until run number six. We were off by a tenth, but we ended up just over 22, 22.08 I want to say. So not too bad. And we'll see how that ranks us among some of the other drivers, but uh, the IS500 is quite stout out on autocross. The only thing is that stability control system and kind of the numb throttle is what I was struggling with and getting the car to actually put power down. Racing driver's excuses, it was all in good fun and I'm happy I got to run the IS500 on an autocross. We're gonna see how it's done now. We're gonna get a ride along with Scott Pruitt, the pro driver, and you're gonna see him knock probably over a second off of what I just ran. How's it going? Hi, great. So there's a grab handle up top. More than welcome, fill it. Looks like you got that rolling. Yeah, I do. Do you recommend I hold on to that? Maybe. maybe. Okay. <laughs> I'll hold on right here. All right. All right. You guys ready to roll? Yep. Ready. Go right, for here it. Here we go. Make them safe. <laughs> beautiful. Oh man. Beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Sweet. 
that sweet rubber. Best so far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we were there with you. So we're back in the LC500 to do our final laps. We're gonna do some lead follow here. And uh, go and have some fun. Then Chris, I'm gonna give you, that will be about the gap that I'd like for you to maintain to me. A couple of car lengths between us, okay? So let's focus, here we go. Let's keep the concentration up. God, I love the LC so much. And as you may have told you, I don't do the double apex. I think it's better just the one apex. So ignore the first one. Make sure that you hit you all the way to the Y line in the second apex. And all the way to the outside. All the way using all of the road every time. Okay. I'm always amazed at the speed of this 10 speed automatic. <laughs> They've just calibrated this thing perfectly. A little bit firmer with the brakes, we have more speed. And then release them smoothly, and then wheels all the way on the white line. Focus on the precision, hitting all the markers. All the apex, all the turning points, using all of the road every time. This track is very complex. This is only my third lap that I've ever done around here, so I'm trying to take it all, all in. All the way to the left, all the way to the white line, all the way not up and away from the white line, on the white line, please. An experience. <laughs> Ooh, coming in hot. <laughs> this is almost better because now I get to look at two well, LC 500s. We only use the brakes for me a couple of times, so it's nice and easy. We don't want to over slow the car down. Looks fabulous in yellow. I still okay. have my red. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay. He's telling me I'm going too slowly, so I'm going to speed up. That's no problem. It's kind of tough when you're the fourth car in line because you don't want to. It's scary being so close because if one person screws up, then you've all had it. Very nice with the brakes, release and smoothly.
confirm a little break. Forget keep breathing, I can relax. First run done, and all this is doing is validating my love for the LC500. <laughs> just every time I get in one of these cars, it just puts the biggest smile on my face, and I just, Lexus sprinkled something in this car, and it is just intoxicating, and just one of my favorite experiences okay, in the entire world. Leave the engine running, please. And we're gonna switch with the other guys. Yeah, just, it's a symphony, of Grunty V8, and boy do I love it. Cool, we'll be back for another session here in a second. All right guys, last session out in the LC500. We're starting in the middle of the pack this time. So let's go have some fun for our last two laps of the day around mid-Ohio. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up our track time here, and it's going to wrap up our day at the Lexus Performance Driving School. Overall, I mean shoot, for a one day program, you get a lot of time behind the wheel. So uh, I mean, pretty good thing. They go around all around the country to a bunch of different race tracks. Of course, one of them being Mid-Ohio, Laguna Seca. What is wrong you guys? I think they said they go to Sonoma, I'm not sure about that, but I'm um, going to wrap up here and I'll give you my final thoughts here in just a second. Thank you. Good run, Chris. Thank you. Yeah, yeah you're a phenomenal instructor. Thank you so much. I don't know what the other 90% of the lap was, but this part was good. Wrapping up our day, back with Scott Pruitt in the RCF track. Thank you. Line them up, line them up. Thank you. Thank you. All right, ready to roll? I'm ready.
flat this car feels. Yeah. Through there. I mean, this car is real. It's 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 pretty neutral. So Styled in, yeah. You drive it in. It's got a good, nice balance. Really predictable. It's got good power. I mean, it gets going, going pretty fast, pretty fast. Yeah. Well, thank you. You're welcome. That was excellent. And that's gonna wrap it up for our time at the Lexus Performance Driving School. I had an absolute blast, and I hope you all enjoyed, especially that last little hot lap with Scott Pruitt in the RCF Fuji. So overall, you know, we did quite a few things. We did autocross twice, we did the skid pad, which was a blast. I got this special wristband that said I was the best on the skid pad, um, which, I mean, obviously there weren't too many people that had done donuts before, I guess. Um, but uh, I've had lots of training from the Topher himself, so I like to think that I know how to do a proper donut. Uh, also, with autocross, I was first out of everyone, so that was pretty cool too. I got a really cool die-cast uh, Lexus uh, race car. Overall, just a really excellent experience, and a uh, huge shout-out to the team over at Lexus. They really put together a really nice day-long program and lots of like seat time um, in the cars and driving the LC on track was excellent. I love the LC so much. And uh, like I said earlier, these programs are available all around the country. They go to Road America, they go to Mid Ohio, they go to all sorts of different tracks uh, on a tour, if you will. So if you wanna do it, I think the course I did was $995, which when you consider all that you get, doesn't seem like too bad of a price. So overall, only good things to say, and look forward to a standalone video here on this IS500 that I have been road tripping for the past almost 300 miles. It's been quite nice. Uh, and also head over to Topher Drives if you wanna see my full road trip impressions on this car. But as for today, thank you all so much for watching. The Topher and I will be in this car for a review soon, but if you made it this far, thanks for sticking with me, and uh, we'll see you all in the next video. Take care.